that will go to a remote upgrade. Uh, this particular unit is running a version 2.44. Uh, if you wish to upgrade the unit, you can just connect to your local Wi-Fi. Uh, once you select the appropriate Wi-Fi, it's going to ask you to put in the necessary information. Once you put in the necessary information, uh, it's going to up ask you if you would like to upgrade and allow and then download the necessary files. Uh, for whatever reason that creates problems, it does give you the ability to revert back to the older version. Last but not least on our settings is our about device. Uh, this is a very informative screen. Uh, lets you know that uh, uh, this is the OEM ID. That number needs to match up uh, so that everything functions correctly. Uh, the software version for your current release. Our hard hardware number, that is the serial number. So uh, we may ask for that or the software version if you ever call in for support. Uh, the ink type, it reads the chip to let you know what the type of ink is, what the voltage and proper firing parameters are. Uh, the ink ID, again, should match the OEM ID to make sure that everything functions correctly. Uh, this one also has uh, the remaining count. In other words, that's the number of prints left in the cartridge for the print uh, uh, that we have chosen and the expiration date of the cartridge uh, itself. Uh, last but not least, we have our remaining here, uh, that number right there, uh, that is the percentage of ink remaining in the cartridge. So this cartridge has 88% and will should yield around 107,000 more prints. Again, basic information, no real settings here to, uh, to input, uh, but uh, some things that uh, do come in helpful when we're trying to diagnose what's happening or keep track of what uh, our ink levels are.